Now, what's up guys? Just a really quick video of me paying my condolences to a young rapper who passed away a few days ago. The rapper I'm talking about went by the name of Slutty Sony. I've covered Sony in the past and that was in April of 2019 on a video titled XXXTentacion's Influence is Starting to Show. On that video, I of course talked about how there were a lot of young rappers coming up in the game at that very particular time who sounded like they were influenced by X's music. I brought up a couple different names on that video. One of them was Josiah, another one was Broly500, and last but not least, Slutty Sony. I personally never properly got into his music, but he was really doing well in the underground scene, making a name for himself, and uh, you know, staying consistent with the music. Unfortunately, though, as you can see from that intro, he actually passed away a couple days ago. Super unfortunate situation. According to our report, he was uh, struck by multiple vehicles, and I'm not really sure what that means. I'm not really sure what kind of situation we're talking about, but out of respect for his loved ones, I'm not gonna talk about it more than that. I wanted to come on here and pay my condolences to his family fans and friends. He was a really good friend of Tokyo's Revenge, a rapper who's been making heavy noise in the underground scene. Shout out to Tokyo, extremely dope rapper, makes amazing music. Stay strong, man. Seeing young talent go like this is always sad. I think we've had a really rough time as hip-hop fans because we've lost so many of our own. Slutty Sony got a lot of XXXTentacion comparison comments thrown his way, understandably, since he did sound like he was influenced by him. But I want to take this opportunity to tell people, specifically X fans, to keep those comparisons comparison comments to yourself during this time. I remember seeing a wave of people calling him a clone of X around the time I dropped that video. I'm gonna be honest, I did feel somewhat responsible for that, even though that video ended up giving him a lot of exposure. It also helped fuel those your copy and X comments, which I felt a little guilty about. That's why I personally sent him this Instagram DM a couple days after I dropped that video. As you can see, I told him, hey, I hope you didn't take that video the wrong way. I think you're talented and I believe you'll find your sound and lane as time passes. He did actually read that message, but he never ended up responding. Regardless, I'm happy that I got that off my chest. I got a lot of DMs on Instagram and Twitter about this very unfortunate situation. A lot of people wanted me to cover this, which is why I'm doing it. I'll leave a couple links to some of his music in the description below. It goes without saying, but always, okay, always sad to see lost potential. Rest in peace to Slutty Sony, Young Talon. May God rest his soul.